Hi, I'm Natalie Deadwell. Now, did you know that chronic stress can take an enormous toll on your happiness and health, leading to an increased risk of many diseases? Now, luckily, meditation is a powerful way to release stress and stay centered in the face of life's inevitable upsets. So let's look at some of the specific ways in which meditation can help you manage stress and cultivate greater health and well-being. So number one is that meditation reverses the effects of the stress response. Now in meditation, you journey from activity to silence and you go beyond the noisy thoughts in the mind and enter a state of restful alertness. So you're in a deep state of rest, yet your mind is fully alert and awake. Now in this state of restful alertness, the body experiences many healing effects that are the, that are the opposite of the fight or flight response including things like decreased heart rate, uh, normalization of your blood pressure, uh, deeper breathing and the ability to, to be able to take oxygen into the body, reduced production of stress hormones, including cortisol and adrenaline, and it strengthens your immunity and you have a more efficient oxygen use in the body. You decrease inflammation in the body and you don't have to be an advanced meditator to benefit from meditation. When you meditate on a regular basis, you are giving your body all of the benefits of deep rest, which gradually help to release the accumulated effects of chronic stress and it restores your body to its natural state of balance and health. And we all want that, right? <laughs> okay, so number two is that meditation increases the body's neurotransmitters of well-being. Now the state of deep rest that's produced by meditation triggers the brain to release neurotransmitters that enhance feelings of well-being, focus, and inner calm. Now we all want that. And when we can achieve this through meditation, you will be amazed at how that actually permeates out into our everyday. And even with interactions with other people in our relationships, we're more calm, we're more you know, focused, and we have a better state of being. Okay, so number three, is that meditation promotes relaxation and restful sleep. Okay, now many of us live in a state of chronic sleep deprivation. Is this you? I know it used to be me. And what this does is it increases our stress levels and our irritability. And I know that. <laughs> yep, I'm guilty of that myself. Now, scientific studies have found that meditation is an effective therapy for insomnia and can actually help you get the restful sleep that is vital to the physical and emotional health that you want. Now, when you meditate, your brain produces more brain waves that promote deep relaxation, including alpha and theta brain waves, which are associated with deep relaxation. So after a meditation practice, you carry this sense of greater calm with you into your daily activities, like I was mentioning before, and this allows you to stay more centered in the face of life's inevitable upsets. So then when it's time to go to bed, instead of thinking about what happened earlier and you know, what happened earlier in the day, what's gonna be happening tomorrow, you're more likely to drift up into a beautiful sleep and you're more likely to stay asleep because there's nothing worse than waking up at three o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> okay, so number four is that meditation improves focus and attention. Now, many people feel stressed because they're trying to do more than one thing at a time. And apparently multitasking is really not good for our brains. Now, as neuroscientists have discovered, the conscious brain cannot multitask. Now, meditation helps you to train your brain to stay focused on the task at hand, rather than letting our attention be pulled out every which way uh, and through every, pass, every passing thought, every distraction, every shiny object. Now, this one-pointed attention makes you even more effective and less stressed. So ladies, it's time for us to give up the multitasking and focus on one thing at a time. Okay, so number five is that meditation releases emotional turbulence. Now, through the practice of meditation, you develop what is known as witnessing awareness, which allows you to observe your thoughts and feelings and stories with greater objectivity and distance, rather than being pulled into the melodrama and the emotion of the reactivity. So as you begin to witness your mental activity without attempting to resist or change it, there's a spontaneous calming of the inner commotion. You know, for any situation, if you're finding something that's really been troubling you and you have an interaction with someone that just really gets underneath your collar, if you have the ability to emotionally detach for just a moment, 
and you can do this through meditation, and to be able to look at it from the outside, you get to see a higher view of what's actually going on. It gives you a perspective where you can have more empathy and compassion for the other person because you can understand what's maybe coming from behind that person into that particular situation. Then over time, you'll begin to notice that some space has been created around difficult emotional states. You'll start to see that there is more to who you are than just your thoughts and moods. And you may also observe that the sensations associated with the negative state dissolve altogether. It's a wonderful realization to know that you don't have to repress what you feel in order to feel inner peace. In fact, repressing emotions never leads to emotional well-being, but only adds to the accumulation of emotional toxicity in your body. But by not repressing or fixating on emotions, they can move through and out of your body. Now, a regular meditation practice allows you to spend more and more time in silence and in peace and in the peace of pure awareness. As this sense of spaciousness expands in your daily life, it becomes easy to let go of old patterns and old thinking that really creates a lot of stress in your life. And you can release all of that. Okay, so number six is that meditation can change your brain's stress patterns. Now, meditation is a powerful tool for awakening new neural connections and even transforming regions of the brain. Now, as researchers have even found, meditation can even change the brain's structure in ways that decrease habitual stress patterns and promote much more calm, not just in the moment, but through every interaction throughout your day. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so number seven is that meditation connects you to your true self. So from a spiritual perspective, the ultimate purpose of meditation is to awaken to your true self. Now, although it's natural to identify yourself with your body, your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, your personality, your possessions, your accomplishments, your relationships, and your preferences, these time-bound attributes aren't who you truly are. Your true self is pure, unabounded consciousness, which transcends space and time. Pure consciousness is also known as the field of possibilities. The attributes of this field include happiness and love and timelessness and compassion and creativity and wisdom and peace and silence and grace. You are already pure love, pure peace and pure awareness. You have just simply forgotten who you truly are. So when you spend time in the inner silence of meditation, you begin to have a spontaneous experience of the attributes of your true self. So instead of getting stuck in constricted awareness, which limits your possibilities, you experience expanded or pure awareness, which is the field of infinite possibilities. This awakening to your true self is usually gradual. So little by little, you release the stress and the limiting thought patterns that obscure your awareness of your essential true nature, which is always there and it's always shining brightly. Now, before I go, I would love to hear from you. So do you have any other tips on how this topic could really help our community? If you do, please share your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the My Movies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. My name is Natalie Ledwell. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.